Okay. All right. So good evening, everyone, and welcome. And thank you so much for spending some time with us here at St. Mary's College of California. Um, my name is Angelica, and I'm the events coordinator for the Office of Admissions. Um, so that basically means I oversee all of our on-campus events that we hold for all of you. Um, and I'll be moderating the session tonight. Uh, but if you guys have any questions for our team tonight, which is me and Jenna, uh, please feel free to save those questions for towards the end. Uh, you can either unmute yourself or drop it in the chat, um, and we'll get to those questions once the presentation is finished. Uh, but I'll go ahead and hand it over to Jenna Sherino Pohl, who is the Director of First Year Admissions here. So go ahead, Jenna. Yes, thank you, Angelica, for the warm welcome. And thank you all so much for taking the time to join us this evening um, for a very comprehensive overview of some of our very prestigious and um, unique departmental and performing arts scholarships. Um, and so what we hope that this session will do is to leave you all, um, whether you are parents of prospective students or you are students applying for this year, um, leave you with a very step-by-step -step and very clear guide as to how to access the scholarships and give you a timeline of the process. Um, so again, my name is Jenna Sherino pohl I serve as the Director of First Year Admissions. Um, I have been with St. Mary's for about nine years, and um, for these last nine years, I've had the pleasure of working alongside our faculty from across many of our different um, distinctive departments um, and majors here at the college to provide students with very um, incredible and prestigious scholarships. And so... Um, if you have questions, as Angelica mentioned, please don't hesitate to drop in those uh, questions into the chat at any point throughout the session, um, but we will get to them at the end. So give me a moment while I just share my screen. Okay, wonderful. So just a brief overview of the Departmental and Performing Arts Scholarships at St. Mary's. These scholarships are created to provide highly academically motivated students with a desired field of study, the chance to receive recognition um, for their motivations within a scholarship opportunity. Um, and so with the faculty at St. Mary's, admissions has the very incredible benefit of helping to support students along the scholarship process. Um, and so um, this session will leave you, again, hopefully with um, very uh, clear instructions on how to apply, as well as helpful uh, sources of information to consider as you consider applying for departmental and performing arts scholarships. Before I jump in uh, with the overview, I just wanted to share uh, our admissions team on a higher level. Um, we have a really incredible team of admissions counselors who work with students and families from across the United States internationally on their journey to St. Mary's. And so um, what you can do as an applicant is go to our website and uh, navigate to the connect with your counselor page. Um, you can easily identify who your admissions counselor is on our website and feel free to connect with them with any questions that you have going forward as a potential applicant. So essentially the first step to be eligible for departmental scholarships is to apply for early action admission. Um, so St. Mary's has two application deadlines, the first being early action, the second being regular decision. Early action gives students the chance to apply to St. Mary's early with a decision guaranteed before Thanksgiving. So within two to three weeks after the November 1st deadline, students receive their admissions decisions from St. Mary's, and you still have all of that time to make your final decision before the national enrollment deadline, which is typically May 1st per year. Um, applying by early action and the November 1st deadline also gives you an opportunity to submit your application for departmental and performing arts scholarships. Um, students do not have access to complete the Departmental and Performing Arts Scholarship application form on the website until after you submit your application and receive your St. Mary's applicant status page login credentials. So I'll break that down further um, and make it even more clear. But the first step to apply would be to submit your application via the common application for early action admission. So the deadline being November 1st, so uh, next Friday is our early action deadline. Um, as long as you submit your common application before then, you will have plenty of time to submit your application for departmental scholarships by that deadline of November 15th. Students can submit their application for free through the common application using the fee waiver code that you can see on your screen. 
um, apply SMC will waive the $60 application fee. So you are absolutely more than welcome to take a screenshot of that or write it down and pass it on to your student um, or keep that in the back of your, your head um, for when you apply before you hit submit. We will then need your official high school transcripts. Um, your unofficial or unofficial copy is perfectly acceptable for admissions. And after that, you can submit any optional um, materials, such as your letters of recommendation and any test scores. Um, St. Mary's does not actively utilize test scores for admissions decision making, nor for scholarship consideration. Um, so it is up to you should you choose to send scores officially or unofficially to our office. We definitely do uh, welcome letters of recommendation. Um, and as I will talk about, letters of recommendation that you submit on behalf of your common application can also use um, and be repurposed for any letters of recommendation considered for departmental scholarships if that is a required part of that process. Overall, St. Mary's awards over $65 million in total grants and scholarships per year. Grants and scholarships are um, not necessarily tied to need. Some grants and scholarships are merit-based. Some grants and scholarships are need-based. Um, but St. Mary's takes the approach that students receiving merit-based scholarships um, can stack any need-based aid on top of their financial aid package. Um, when students apply, they will automatically be considered for up to $29,000 of renewable merit-based scholarships for incoming first-year applicants and up to $18,000 for um, transfer applicants, either for the spring or the fall term. Departmental and performing arts scholarships are not tied to need. They are merit-based scholarships, um, and they are valued at $5,000 renewable per year with some conditions that I will talk about. So navigating into the departmental and scholarship application process. So as a uh, reminder, again, these scholarships are valued each at $5,000 per year. Um, the application deadline is November 15th. So students who are applying early action, making sure their applications are in by the November 1st deadline, will still have 15 days to submit their applications for departmental and performing arts scholarships. Departmental and Performing Arts Scholarships are awarded to select incoming first-year students following an interview or an audition on campus um, during Scholarship Saturday. The date of this year's Scholarship Saturday is January 18th, 2025. So the departmental scholarships are contingent based on a student who has aspirations to major or possibly minor in one of these academic fields that you see here. So there are over 20 different majors at St. Mary's that award a select number of students a $5,000 scholarship to major in their desired field of study. Um, students do have to commit to that major should they receive a departmental scholarship in order for it to be renewable each year. Uh, and it's an amazing way to be recognized by the department that a student's pursuing their major in. Students also have access to really high level opportunities for research and internships um, once they are departmental scholars. So any of these majors and academic programs that you see here are programs that offer a $5,000 departmental scholarship. The requirements for the application for each department or program vary by the specifics of the department. And the website that I'll show you clearly um, stipulates the requirements of each scholarship. So if you navigate to our website, um, St. Mary's dash CA slash financial financial aid backslash scholarships backslash first year students. Um, you can navigate directly to the departmental scholarship application form. I've also included some screenshots um, where you can um, once you navigate to the homepage on the St. Mary's website, how you can directly access the application uh, form for departmental and performing arts scholarships. Um, so if you're at the homepage, you would click on admissions and aid at the top reader bar. Underneath undergraduate admissions, you would click on the scholarships link. And then as you scroll down that page, you will then click on the icon for departmental scholarships. And that will bring you to the um, clear instructions for how to apply and the links to apply as well. And let me actually go online to the website really quickly so you can take a look and see um, with me in real time. So 
So again, our homepage is stmarys-ca.edu. Again, you would hover and click on the admissions and find an uh, admissions and aid tab underneath undergraduate admissions, navigate to scholarships. And then this is a page that we recommend students and families check often and consistently throughout the application cycle, because in addition to departmental and performing arts scholarships, there are also other scholarships that students might automatically be eligible for or could also apply for separately. Um, so when you navigate down to the middle of the page, there'll be a clear link to direct you to the departmental scholarships website. And then from there, each department has an overview and a breakdown of what is required to apply for their departmental or performing arts scholarship. So this will give you an advantage as um, you are working on your application to St. Mary's or if you've already submitted your application um, in advance of submitting your application for departmental scholarships, you can start to either work on your application for a departmental scholarship um, or build the materials that you'll need to submit at the time of the application is due. Um, so some departments require short answers, essays, letters of recommendation, maybe writing samples. Um, some are competition-based, um, so they will allow students to um, like compete in what's called like a lab activity or a mathematics competition. Some are evaluated based on portfolio submissions. Um, so again, depending on the academic program that you seek to apply to, you can have a clear breakdown of the requirements for each departmental scholarship. All right, toggling back to the presentation here. So the timeline. So again, um, just repeating, you will submit your application by November 1st. After you submit your application, usually within about 24 hours, students will receive a confirmation email from St. Mary's that will have your SMC applicant status page login credential. Um, so that is an email that you will definitely want to be on the lookout for. Um, it will give you your established username and password and unique applicant URL to direct you to your applicant portal. That same login information can be used to log in to the departmental scholarship application. Um, so we would definitely recommend you will use your SMC applicant status page all throughout the year. You will use that to check on the status of your application, to register for upcoming admitted student events in the spring. Um, you'll use your portal to submit any required documentations if you enroll to St. Mary's, as well as to submit your enrollment deposit. So make sure that you have um, that username and password saved somewhere that you can always locate it. And if you need to reset your password, we can always help you on the back end. Uh, again, the Departmental and Performing Arts Scholarship application is due by November 15th. After November 15th, the faculty review all submissions for each Departmental and Performing Arts Scholarship. Generally, faculty make their decisions around mid-December and select students would either be invited to interview or audition on campus on Saturday, January 18th, 2025. Um, the faculty in the past have been accommodating to students who have been selected to interview or audition if there need to be virtual interviews. If you are not able to come to campus personally, um, it is possible to work with the faculty to arrange a virtual interview or audition. And that is something that um, in my role as liaison between the faculty and departmental scholarships, I can help facilitate. After the audition or interview during Scholarship Saturday on January 18th, um, faculty will then deliberate amongst um, the professors who are part of the audition process or the interview process and make their scholarship decisions by mid-February. So by mid-February, um, which is also the expected timeline of when students will receive their need-based financial aid applications and packages, um, you will also be notified if you are a recipient of the annual $5,000 departmental or performing arts scholarship. Um, the amount of departmental scholarships that are awarded vary by department program, um, but generally it's around four um, incoming first year students per year are recipients of a departmental scholarship for each program. 
And that is the application process in a nutshell. So um, I will gladly open the floor to any questions maybe that have come through, any questions that have aro uh, arisen. Um, we're happy to navigate and answer those questions for you. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jenna, for providing everyone here with information regarding departmental scholarships. Um, with that being said, I already see one question here. Yes. Um, and they ask if you can apply to more than one departmental scholarship. Yes, thank you so much for asking that. Um, that's a very important question. So technically, students can submit their applications for more than one departmental scholarship. That being said, if a student is um, either auditioning or interviewing for more than one departmental scholarship, they can only be a recipient of one departmental scholarship. Um, and that is because the ultimate goal of the departmental scholarships is to provide assistance and financial um, support for students that have academic aspirations to major in a specific academic field. Um, and so a student would have to choose if they are offered more than one departmental scholarship, which they would more likely pursue a major in, um, in order to have that scholarship renewable all four years. So again, yes, technically you can submit more than one scholarship application, but we would definitely encourage students um, to be very thoughtful about their genuine academic interests that they have because these are major specific scholarships. Great. I had a question. Um... Sorry, this is Dina Dyson. Teresa is the applicant. She's actually at work, but um, I promised her I would log on. Um, for the scholarships, did you say, and forgive me, it just, um, I missed it, that the application deadline is November 1st and then the scholarship deadline is the 15th? So will they, they, that's a quick turnaround, right? So they'll find out pretty quick about when they're accept if they're accepted into the school? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so students that apply for early action will hear of their admissions decision before the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, so it is very quickly after a student would submit their application by the deadline that they would hear of an admissions decision from St. Mary's. But so they would apply for the department scholarship before they know if they're accepted into the school? Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So she can work on that anytime. All right. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Yes, okay. timeline wise, um, yes, application decisions would still be forthcoming before the deadline um, or after the deadline of November 15th for department. Oh, good. OK, yeah, I got that wrong in my head. So thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then there's another question um, that reads, is there a scholarship for tech theater students? Yes. So the Performing Arts Awards Departmental Scholarships for music, dance, technical theater and design, and theater performance and theater studies. Um, the Performing Arts Department also has an endowed scholarship for um, students that are Black or of African-American descent from either Alameda or Contra Costa County. Um, so it's a funded scholarship that provides a performing arts students within those demographics a full cost of attendance scholarship. You can also access that scholarship on the departmental scholarship website. Um, but yes, so the performing arts scholarships would either require, again, an audition or um, an interview, depending on the type of performing arts scholarships that the student is applying for. Okay, perfect. Um, and then there's another question here that reads, is there still scholarship opportunities for transfer students? Yes. Yeah. Thank you for asking that. And just a clarifying question, the departmental scholarship applications are currently only available to incoming first year students. Um, at this time, transfer students, unfortunately, cannot apply for the departmental scholarships. But that being said, transfer students are still eligible for many forms of financial aid, including merit-based aid. Um, transfer students, similarly, will also automatically be considered um, for uh, transfer merit scholarships, which are awarded based on GPA when students apply. And at this point, they range up to $18,000 per year. Um, we are also expanding our community college partnership scholarships. So students that are transferring to St. Mary's from um, any California community college are also eligible for community college partnership scholarships. And then um, I always recommend students to take a look again on the website to see what other scholarships you might be able to apply for or be eligible for as well. Awesome. And then we have a question that reads, I've noticed the scholarship amount has been reduced from prior years. Um, will that be changed again? 
Sure. So yes. Um, so the financial office of financial aid and scholarships, um, has, uh, undergone a financial aid revisioning plan by which the departmental scholarships now are valued at 5,000 annually, but are awarded to a larger number of students than previous years. And so we've been able to expand the departmental and performing arts scholarship offerings while still providing, um, competitive scholarship to students that is stackable on top of any other merit-based aid. Um, students can receive a maximum of $40,000 in SMC merit-based scholarships that does not include need-based aid. Need-based aid could still stack on top of any awarded merit-based scholarships. Yes. Awesome. And then there's another question that reads, can you share what other scholarships could be available that you mentioned? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can reshare my screen um, and bring up our financial aid. Yes. Website. All right. So navigating back to undergraduate scholarships. So as I mentioned, at the time of admission, whether it's for early action or for regular decision, students are automatically considered for merit-based scholarships. These scholarships are awarded based on a student's academic GPA upon the time of admissions. And for first year students range up to $29,000 per year. And for transfer students range up to $18,000 per year. Um, then we've already discussed the departmental scholarships. And if you scroll further down, um, these are also additional merit scholarships that students might automatically be considered for depending on certain criteria or can also submit an application for, um, again, if they meet certain criteria. Uh, we do award alumni legacy scholarships. So for students whose parents or grandparents graduated from St. Mary's with either their bachelor's or their graduate degree, um, students are automatically considered for a $2,000 legacy scholarship. And again, that stacks on top of merit-based aid. The East Bay Performing Arts Scholarships for African-American students is an endowed full cost of attendance scholarship to students that meet specific criteria. Um, for example, aspirations of majoring or minoring in the performing arts. So theater performance, um, design and technical theater, music or dance, um, and that are African-American or black students uh, from Alameda or Contra Costa County. Lasallian Leadership Scholarships are awarded to students who are graduating from Lasallian high schools. Um, so any of our Lasallian partner high schools throughout California or nationally are, again, automatically eligible for a $5,000 Lasallian Leadership Scholarship. Um, there are scholarships awarded to students with um, interest in the Mackin Speech and Debate Team. Um, students who have had previous maybe speech and debate experience or have future aspirations for speech and debate are eligible to apply. Um, and then the scholarship for journalism and communication. So students who have a demonstrated interest in studying journalism um, or pursuing a journalism related career. So this is just merit-based aid. Um, in addition to merit-based scholarships, we also strongly to encourage students to submit their applications for need-based aid. Um, one really beneficial tool at this time that students and families can choose to um, utilize is the net price calculator. The net price calculator utilizes student information, including academic GPA, um, also previous need as demonstrated by uh, prior prior year tax history. The net price calculator is currently being updated for the fall of 2025, so it should be available soon, but will give students an estimated um, financial aid package specifically based to merit. Um, so that is also a very helpful tool for scholarships and um, undergraduate financial aid. Need-based aid is awarded as determined by the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. Um, this year, the FAFSA is expected to open around December, um, provided that the Department of Education has a much smoother uh, rollout of the FAFSA than last year's applicants. We are very hopeful to have financial aid offers and packages out to students by mid-February. Um, and a financial aid offer would include any demonstrated merit scholarships or need-based aid that a student has qualified for, um, whether that's by need or, again, by merit. 
Um, St. Mary's also has a great website to direct students and families to private scholarship sources. Um, there are many scholarships maybe in your communities, um, in your um, maybe demographic areas where you can seek out that would also apply towards your financial aid and your financial need. I'll go ahead and post those links in the chat. So if anyone wants to explore those, um, feel free to do so. Uh, let's see. And then there was a question um, regarding SAT scores and if that impacts um, or if it will be considered uh, for a merit scholarship if it's submitted. Yes, great question. And this is definitely a question you should be asking of all admissions offices that you are considering applying um, to a particular university or college, because uh, everybody does have their own requirements. Um, for example, the UCs are test free, um, so they don't actively utilize test scores for admissions decisions, but they do require test scores for placement. Um, St. Mary's is test optional. We do not actively utilize SAT or ACT scores for making admissions decisions, nor do we use test scores for um, scholarship consideration. Merit scholarship consideration is solely determined based on your academic GPA at the time of acceptance. Um, we do not need test scores for placement purposes either. Um, the only test scores that you would possibly want to consider sending us is your AP scores or IB scores if you have taken any advanced credit courses. Hopefully that answered your question. Um, and then there's another one that asks about yellow ribbon aid for military dependent applicants. Yes, thank you for asking about that also. St. Mary's is a partner um, through the GI Bill with the Yellow Ribbon Scholarship. Um, so students who are uh, dependents of veterans or are veterans themselves are eligible for veteran support services, which would include qualifications for the Yellow Ribbon Scholarship. Um, we do have a website uh, that um, provides veteran support services to students and families. I'm also happy to share that here. All right. Yep. So veteran support services, um, we do have a designated staff member who works with students who are dependents of veterans or have veterans benefits um, in any capacity um, for easy onboarding. So they would help to work with you to make sure that you are applying for your benefits um, through the required steps and then being in constant communication with students um, and their financial aid offering. I can also drop this link in the chat too for easy access. Yes. There's a lot of great questions tonight um, regarding access to different scholarships. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? I am currently helping out another um, person who asked for their personal admissions counselor. Um, so if there's any other ones, please feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, we've been more than happy to answer them. I see one here. Um, we have a family who's asked um, if they have questions about their checklist, who would they reach out to? Um, so when you have access to log into your SMC applicant status page, your counselor, uh, your specific admissions counselor will be on the home page. Um, you'll be able to see our picture, our beautiful pictures, um, as well as our contact information. So you can reach out to your admissions counselor directly, or you can contact our main admissions office. Um, the contact information can be found on this last slide here. Uh, 925-631-4224 is our main admissions line. Um, and our main general admissions email is smcadmit at stmarys-ca.edu. So that is our general line. Um, if you reach out to us through either phone or email, um, either our admissions counselors, student ambassadors, or um, operations team will assist you with your questions. Awesome. Are there any other questions that pertain to our session tonight? Clicking through a lot of tabs here. <laughs> okay. Well, if no one else has any other questions, I will go ahead and drop our main email again in the chat for folks who may have missed it. 
as well as our general phone number. Of course, you're welcome. And thank you to everyone attending tonight. Uh, we really do appreciate you taking some time out of your day as well um, to learn more about our departmental scholarships um, and other scholarships, really. Um, so yes, we are looking forward to seeing hopefully some of you at our fall preview day, which is happening this Saturday. Yes, um, and if you haven't registered yet already, there is still time to submit your registration for fall preview day. Yes. Um, so you'll be hearing from us again. You'll be hearing from also our transfer admissions counselors, if that's something you're interested in. Um, an honor, honors program session will also be happening. And all of our faculty from all of our departments will also be there to have a discussion with you um, if you have any questions for them. Uh, but for now, we will go ahead and conclude the session for tonight. Uh, so again, thank